Congratulations! Congratulations! Siya po yung nakita niyong, hindi una, pangalawa, pangalawang yung mayakap kay Heidelin Diaz doon. And you've been with with her in this journey for many many years, sir. Tell us how you feel. Honestly, I have to admit, kami ni Hydelin mismo up to now, it's just starting to sink in. I'm only had about three hours sleep late last night, and another interview woke me up, and. Cannot sleep again. I I talked to Heidelin and we both, you know, we both been together for. Well, she was 12 years old then. Batang Pinoy product of my, my baby project when I was sports commissioner then. And then I brought her to Beijing Olympics when she was 16, almost 17. And then we went to London and she cried again. Iyak na naman kami. Well, she wasn't really in top shape. Then suddenly, about four months before the Rio Olympics, in the Asian Games in Phuket, Thailand, uh, she won the gold medal with my other male uh, lifter, uh, Nestor Colonia from Samuanga. And I went to Rio uh, on my own with, with, with them. Because I knew we were going to have a medal. Mm -hmm. I knew because to have a gold medal in the Asian Championship means you have to beat the Chinese. And the Chinese has always been the mm -hmm. powerhouse in, in world weightlifting since time immemorial. Last night, we, then we went to, uh, to Rio and she won the silver, as I, I predicted. Uh, and suddenly last night we we shook the whole the whole the whole international federation. We we shocked the Chinese hmm. uh, because four months before this, uh, Heidelin, for your information, placed fourth in the Asian Championship in Uzbekistan, hmm. and we really intended not to harm you know not to get any medal so she wouldn't get oh. the harm uh, for this championship, oh. and the Chinese. Never knew her strength then, and we knew when we came oh. home, we already knew the strength of the Chinese. So, so tactic she kept... pala yun, ha? <laughs> ah, oo. Tactic Kasi pala yun. Kasi nalulat ka si Len, no? Na, oh. Uy, ang lakas pala nito. Nobody expected her to actually make second place, right? Yung yeah. Talagang yun yung kalaban. Uh, that's smart. Lutz, uh, yeah. Lutz uh, uh, alam nyo, she always lost to that Chinese girl before. That same girl, huh? Yes, yeah, okay. same girl. She's a world record holder and the yeah. Olympic record holder until last night. Yes, so yes. So she, she was right. expecting to be first again. Oh, However, really? in the last uh, three months, when she placed fourth in Uzbekistan, she was focused uh, all the time, day and night, training in Kuala Lumpur. For your information, everybody, mga kapatid, Heidi Lin was locked down intentionally in Kuala Lumpur for about almost two years. Yes. She never went home because uh, Rizal Memorial was locked down. It was closed. I sent all my other girls and boys to the provinces with the national coaches respectively. So Haidilin was forced to be there and focused and thank God the Malaysian weightlifting group, our friends, lent us the barbells for her to train in a private small house with the two coaches, the Chinese coach and uh, the Guamanian uh, Filipino uh, young coach, uh, Julius uh, yes. uh, Naranjo. And uh, we have to thank these four people, uh, Lutz and everybody, Ed, everybody. We have four people watching over her the last uh, five years. She has mm -hmm. a nutritionist, uh, Dr. Janet Aro. She has a psychologist, which I think should be a must now for Olympians. If you want yes. to really have mm -hmm. a medal, Dr. Karen Trinidad and Coach Gao, a Chinese, and, uh, and then the Guamanian uh, strengthening coach. May mga bago ba kayong iniisip na programa to develop more gold, gold medalists sa mga weightlifters natin? To develop more high delines. Meron ba kayong iniisip na mga bagong programa? May apat nga ako. Mm -hmm. Apat lima. Uh, Amy, Amy na dadalhin ko sa Paris. That's why it's hard for me. I'm having a 
I'm having a, how do you call it now? I'm in a dilemma because I want to retire now. You see, I, I had this dream when I was a sports commissioner for six years. I was sports uh, committee uh, chairman in Congress on my first term. And I always dreamt that if I win a gold medal in the Olympics in any sport, I will you retire, retire back to Poland <laughs> and, rest, and rest my life there. So now I've won it. I have nothing to achieve anymore. That's my dilemma now because I want to tell my coaches, pagod na ako. I mean, nabigay na ng Panginoon lahat sa akin. Hindi ba kakampanya ka pa for Manny Pacquiao? Ayun na lang. Okay sa segue si Ami. Iba na mga awa yan. Para sa maya. Iba labanan yun eh. Ibang sports yun eh. Alam niyo, all my life, I've been chairman of the Philippines I've been chairman of the Philippines for the Olympic Committee. I've been commissioner of sports in the country for more than six years. Mm. I've been I've been president of Asia for weightlifting. So, alam nyo, it's not an easy thing. I've already achieved what I asked from God. Sabi ko, yes, pinigyan mo lang kung... Ako, mukha na po ito si Sir. Sabi ko, pinigyan mo lang kung medalya. Sir, pinigyan na kung medalya. Adya pa ba? Ngayon, gold. Ayan pa. Wala na. I have not seen. Ang awa ko lang sa mga bata ito. Yes, sir. And sir, I promise I, I, you, I but, but I promise you before my battery runs out, oh. in, 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 in Paris in 2024, whether it's Hidelin or another one, we're going to get another gold in weightlifting. Ah, yeah. That I can promise oh. you. Yeah. Sir, okay. sir.